Are you ready to go ashore? Not sure. Ha 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 Oh god, that was very lame. We have an average speed. Six knots, okay. maximum 13.9. I think something went wrong there. <laughs> Ever wondered what your first sunrise under sail would look like? Then keep watching. you recognize our intro song but you aren't subscribed yet I think by now we convinced you of our entertainment value hello so hit that subscribe button it really is time now well then welcome back to another episode of see the little thing last week we spent 26 hours in Palermo doing touristy things some boat jobs and dragged a lot of fuel to the boat. Thanks everybody for the very sweet tips on how to make this job easier in the future. And thanks for filling up our tip jar. You know who you are. Next time we can go to the fuel dock. Anyway, we made our way to an anchorage on the other side of Palermo and met some amazing new people. Thanks for the uplifting night guys. We really needed that after so many weeks of hanging out together. The random encounters with other sailors is what makes this life so freaking fantastic. We're slowly making our way up to the northwest tip of Sicily and today is another day to try our new to try our new bait. We have a little squid, so we may have a chance. Yeah, and if we catch a fish, we have a winch handle to be a, as humane as one can be. So this is the Sicilian coastline. It is very diverse with its sandy beaches, rugged mountains and cute little towns. Sailing close to shore is definitely a sight for sore eyes. If you have winds, of course, which naturally we did not. Nevertheless, you can still have a great day on the water if you have a noise cancelling headphones to cancel out that fucking loud engine. Which we did! When cruising close to any Italian coast, make sure you have somebody on the lookout for little fishing boats. Italians love to go fishing and on a windless day you will be surrounded by them. We both thought the other person was on the lookout and had a near miss with a small wooden boat. The trip from Palermo to Capo San Vito is about 40 miles and it should take us between 8 to 10 hours. After about 6 hours of motoring, once again out of nowhere, we got hit by some nice winds and tried to outrace these clouds over here. Deliciousness are we cooking tonight? It's a lasagna day. Lasagna day! And we cook a lot so we can have it tomorrow too. Nice, nice, nice. And we have some good music from the beach. Look at the lights. We were ready to leave Sicily behind us for a while already and Mandy was checking for weather windows the past week. The starting point was the western tip of Sicily and that's why we had to motor there the day before. We did not step foot ashore here, we just wanted to be well rested to start our overnight sail. But since it is Sicily, this was just another rolly anchorage. Without much sleep, we got ready to go. We really don't understand why we have so many flies. We're ready for today. And tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. Woohoo! Today we are leaving for... Sardinia. 
it's like 165 miles, so that means about 35 hours if we do well. So it's gonna be a long trip. And it's been a very extremely swelly night. You can probably not see it, but we're still rocking. I did not sleep well, which is not good. Mandy prepared some easy meals for on the way, since it is the worst to be hungry when on a longer passage. With a bit of luck, you might be able to motivate her to write down some of her boat food recipes. I tried. Still have something to fix, don't we? Yeah, we still have a rip in the sail. Seems everything's disintegrating. So we have to fix that before we leave. But thank God we had a rip before and we got some new tape just in case it happens again. Find the spot back somehow. Yeah. yeah. Not a massive rip. Oh, okay. So just first clean it with a little bit of water and then with a little bit of alcohol to take the salt off and degrease it a bit. So hopefully the tape will actually stick better onto it. It worked the last time. Get a piece of it like this, right? And say, so make sure it doesn't rip further. I'm cutting off the edges because if you cut it round, it won't come off that quickly because it won't peel. So the chances are bigger your tape stays on the way it's supposed to be. This tape is a bit, seems better than the black stuff. It's a bit more flexible. Very difficult because it's pretty. It's nice that it's thinner, it's easier to make it stick. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that looks good enough. Let's hope we don't get more ribs. Alex is letting out some chain, because we still have to stir an anchor out, which did not do much, unfortunately. And um, when he leaves out the chain, we have enough so we can pull it in in the back again. Look at them. They are so cool. Or you want to know what they're called? Pick it up. And then we pull up the anchor in the front, and then we're off. Free to go. Ah. Uh, Heavy. It's moving a five-ton boat. On a tidy chain. Not a problem. All right, here we go. I'm pulling up anchor and leaving uh, Cape Vito. We haven't been on the beach, so it's okay if we don't know the name of the place. Short, stopover, swelly nights, stern anchors. Time to lift and time to go. So that was Sicily. Looking back today, we gotta say this island is a great place for a Europe vacation. Great food, much history, busy towns. But by boat, not again. Other sailing channels loved it, but they haven't been to Greece. Subscribe to see how Sardinia holds up. <laughs>
de frappe. Oui! They are so fast, aren't they? We're 30 miles out and we don't see land anymore, but we saw dolphins. Twice. Twice. So the first time they left real quick. I think we're too small for Italian dolphins. Yeah, we are. We're too slow. Also, we saw a dead turtle. We are eight hours into our seal right now. And we've done... Maybe 40? Four, about 40 miles, probably even more, because we've been positively flying. We're doing over seven knots right now. A few hours ago we were really flapping around because the wind kind of died down to about eight knots and then the waves are coming from the side so we had to go of course a little bit and the winds are just gonna pick up more so we decided that before the sun sets we're gonna take a reef so at night we don't have to do it when it's dark because it's just unnecessary risk and if there's one on watch and one sleeping it's easier when the reef is just in. The waves are not slamming us that much anymore and we're way more stable because of the speed. Listening to some audiobooks, just enjoying that there's nothing and nobody out here. In seven hours, it's gonna be Alex's birthday. So I thought I'd bake you an apple pie. I found a recipe for some kind of almond ricotta cake which seems really good, but Alex really loves apple pie, so I thought I'm going to mix that recipe with a very typically Dutch apple pie recipe. And the one recipe is an American recipe, so it's with cups, which is good when we're sailing because I cannot really use my skill right now. I just finished the first part of the dough. It's in the fridge right now, so it can cool off a bit because it was a bit too soft. But right now I'm not feeling all too well because of all the movement, so I'm going to go outside for a bit. <laughs> get some fresh air until I feel a bit better. How are you feeling? A little bit nauseous. <laughs> It'll go away. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you've been down there a long time. Yeah. Too long. And hungry, so that's why I cooked. Decided to make some dinner first. Yokis with some sauerkraut. Easy, healthy, and super delicious. Why I cooked. Let's hope that helps. Thanks. You're welcome. It's our second night sail and we kind of know what to expect. We turn on our AIS alarm so we know when a ship is entering our safe zone. We turn on repeating 15 minute alarms on our phones in case we fall asleep. We clip in and we make sure there's nothing to trip on. We take variable shifts. Whenever one of us is tired, we switch. We don't see a good reason to wake someone up when you're still wide awake on the helm. Ready for your shift? It may not work for you, but it works for us. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah? Still need to wake up a bit. Mm. Music helps, so. Thanks, baby. Welcome. You're doing good, though. Going six knots. How are you doing, then, on your birthday? Best birthday ever. Yeah? Yeah. I got cake. You did? And I got a night sail with good winds and good sleep
It was such a good night and the sunrise my favorite ever since. The south end of Sardinia showed up on the plotter and any minute now we should be there, right? Somehow your brain tricks you with all that built up anticipation and only later you realize that it will take another day sail to reach land. So, what happened here? I don't know what you're talking about. We got rid of our any minute now attitude and made good progress. The ECMW forecast did not disappoint. It was still my birthday and Mandy tried to have a decent conversation on camera because now we're famous YouTubers. How about it? Did you have a good birthday till now? That was great. Anyways, here's our preventer. We feed a line from the boom to the bow cleat and lead that back to the stern cleat. It's not ideal yet because sometimes the Genoa sheet and the preventer line chafe. But we're working on a better angle this season. This is our waterproof flashlight to light up the sails. This way we are more visible if another ship comes too close. That's our spare headlight that we keep in the cockpit and the handheld VHF. It's not the best, do not get the cheapest one. We keep the ship station turned on as well on channel 16. The idea is to keep this on your body while you're on watch and in case you by all means go overboard you can call in. There is a chance that you might wake up the crew on board and save your life. By the way, we are working on a little booklet about all the things we learned this season. Let us know if you're interested in something like that in the comments down below. Our patrons will get it in the inbox no matter what. Throughout the day we noticed that the waves build up quite a bit and we considered ourselves lucky to be able to drop anchor soon. This was our destination. We dropped the hook quite late in the afternoon next to the marina of Villa Simios. We have an average speed? Six knots. Six knots? Yeah. yeah. Maximum 13.9. I think something went wrong there. <laughs> We made it to Sardinia! Woo! It is beautiful here. It's a bit cloudy, but it gives you nice colors. We haven't been on land for like five days. Last time was in Palermo, so we're gonna just go to the beach, have a nice walk, enjoy some solid ground because it's been a very wobbly night again, but somehow we still slept. I think we slowly get used to the crazy movement of the boat. Are you ready to go ashore? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was very lame. If we uplifted you this episode, uplift us today by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget that thumbs up too. Thank you so much for watching. Bringing you joy is what makes us happy. See you next week. Okay, bye bye.